He's Barry Sanders, one of the great running backs of all time. And uh, prior to Barry joining us, we were talking about how athletes retire. We're talking about Kobe Bryant. You had Michael Jordan, Sugar Ray Leonard. And I was privy. I, I had a great relationship with Barry when he was still playing through his agent. And I remember when his agent, Peter Schaefer, called me. It was a Sunday night, I believe. And he said, uh, Barry is at the airport. He's going to London. He is retiring. And I was trying to process all this. And he said, I, I said, Pete, what are you talking about? He goes, Barry's at the airport. He's flying to London. He's going to announce his retirement. And I said, well, why is he going to London? He goes, he wants to get out of the United States just to be able to get away from everybody. And Barry Sanders joins us now. What was going through your mind that you just say, that's it. I'm done. Going to the airport, getting on a plane and going to London. And I'm done with football. You know, what was crazy about that day was um, I was on the plane. The flight was delayed. Um, then, you know, people kind of put two and two together. Okay, the Lions training camp starts like tomorrow. What, what, what is he doing on the plane? And so they were literally reporters um, that had gotten to the gate uh, to try to get onto the plane. Obviously, that you can't do that. Um, but it, it was just such a bizarre sequence. Uh, it just seemed like a good idea at the time to get away. I, <laughs> I don't you, know. Did you second guess? When, you, when you're on the plane, you got a seven-hour flight. At any point did you say, I think I'm making a mistake? You mean the flight was a mistake? or no, uh, no, you're retired. <laughs> well, oh, retiring. Oh, retiring. Right, 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 right. Yeah, retiring. Right. No, no, I, I, um, I was pretty sure that that was the thing for me to do at the time. Um, and, um, you know, it was a little awkward how it happened, um, as, as you pointed out. Um, but, uh, but the retirement, no, that, that was the right thing for me to do. You, but you had to, you have to get to that point. And athletes never want to give up. They never quit. You're competitive. But you had to say to yourself, that's it. And a lot of these guys can't do it. Why were you able to go, all right, I'm done? Well, it, it was It wasn't it was a snap difficult. judgment, right? No, it, it wasn't. It, was, it wasn't. And it was something that um, I pretty much knew going into that last season and, um, and became more clear, um, you know, toward the end of the season. Um, and so, but hey, look, listen, it, it is a difficult thing to leave um, because I'm that kid that always dreamed about playing football and was just simply giddy to be able to have the high school, college, and pro career that I had. Um, and I knew that when that, I guess, flame um, blew out, um, that just wasn't there anymore to continue going out and being the type of player that I was, that it, it was time to go, um, you know, and, and so. Um, How many yards did you rush for that last year? Um, I don't know what what fourteen hundred or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's kind of so, hard to yeah, to walk away from fourteen hundred. Well, Barry. you know, and you know, again. Um, but did you lose the love of football because you guys played. were losing? Yeah, yeah, we, we were. If you were, we were winning, would you have stayed? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I believe that that probably would have made it more difficult to leave. Um, you know, and and um, but I, you know, so I, I, that that that's not what I was faced with, um, and so. You know, I, I don't know that it would have been, it would have made the only difference. I'm, I'm not sure. He's Barry Sanders joining us, Dan Patrick Show. When did you know you were good? Like, was there that moment where you went, wow, I'm a little bit different than everybody else on the block? I think for me, you, you, consider, you can consider me a late bloomer. I think you can definitely consider me that. Um, I'm not the kid that people pointed out as being an elite athlete, um, even on through high school. I wasn't, and um, you know, a lo kind of a long story, but I wasn't playing running back. Um, and I, I, I really thought I was going to have a chance to go to college as a defensive back. You weren't good enough to um, play running back? I mean, I was pretty, I thought I was pretty good, but, <laughs> but, um, but you know, Most I, I was just playing out of position, I, I guess you could say. Um, and I just really hadn't developed physically like that to, to be a running back. Um, and then I had, you know, and so just circumstances like that. Um, so it, it was probably in college where I felt like, you know, maybe I have a chance. Well, um, you know the story that Barry Switzer told his, his players at Oklahoma. Right. So Thurman Thomas, Hall of Famer, is starting in front of you at Oklahoma State. And Barry Switzer says to his team, whatever you do, don't hurt Thurman Thomas because we don't want to face Barry Sanders. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And that was later. That, I mean, I, when I came into Oklahoma State, um, very little known. They had recruited tons of running backs. Um, it wasn't like 
Thurman, Thurman Thomas and then Barry Sanders. It was, it was a lot of guys between the two of us. And then um, first couple of years really d developed the name for myself on special teams um, <laughs> um, in, in, you know, sort of in Thur Thurman's shadow. Had, had um, you know, my sophomore year, you know, had a um, just record-breaking year returning kicks and punts and stuff like that. Um, you know, so it was probably second, third year. Se se for, for at the end of my first year, second year in college, I started thinking maybe I have a, a shot because you, you play with guys and play against guys that go on to play, right, in the yeah. league. And, okay, so you think, okay, well, maybe there's a chance. Um, so for me, it was, it was much later that I, that I thought I'd, you know, um, could stand out. And I, I thought that there was one moment that sort of encapsulated your personality when, and, and correct me on the story if I'm wrong, but you were going for the rushing title. Christian Okoye of the Kansas City Chiefs uh, had a certain number, and you were playing after Okoye, his game was done. So you had to get to a certain point, you would have won the rushing title. And you got, what, five yards from the rushing title, and then you said I'll come out or let my backup have some run? Right, yeah. Our, our, our <laughs> game, well, we played Atlanta that year. We played the Falcons in, in Atlanta. Um, and uh, I know I needed so many yards to get the Russian title. Um, and ended up having, ended up getting, and, and that number was probably 100 and something yards. Um, I ended up maybe 10 yards or so short of that. But still, I mean, that, that day I had a, had a fantastic day. I had two or three touchdowns, uh, again, 100. But you didn't want the rushing title. You didn't care. After, after no, after th that kind of a season, I had um, put up, no, the, the rushing title, um, you know, again, I was, I was young and ignorant. That was my, that was my rookie season. And so I, I didn't know any better. Um, but, um, but, no, it, it didn't because, again, I had, because, um, you know, I walked away with rookie of the year uh, that year um, and, you know, as my first Pro Bowl, and just so many great things happened for me. I didn't, I didn't think that those extra ten yards. Um, the game was over. I yeah. mean, we, had, I don't know how much we were ahead by, but you know, the game wasn't in question. Um, and so, yeah, I was like, yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's been a great year, um, and that's good <laughs> enough for me. I don't, I don't need to add the Russian title to that. Marshall Falk was on yesterday, and he told me that when he would make a move and have a guy completely miss, he would actually giggle a little bit while he was running. You made a career out of making guys look bad. Did you ever take joy out of that in the moment? Did you ever giggle or smile, laugh? No. I was always looking for the next guy. I was always, you know, because th there's always another guy coming. Um, and, um, and so, you know, and, and, and the thing, thing about it is, you know, while, while it happens, obviously you don't really know what it looks like. And so it, it, it was always interesting to go back, look at the film, you know, and just see what was going on. And, Did you know and what you were doing in the moment there of making these guys look bad? Not, not always. No, not you always. Were I mean, you were posterizing guys. You were, you were like react. Michael Jordan <laughs> dunking on people. You were posterizing people. Well, I, I'll let you say that. No, you won't. I'll let you say that. I, I, I appreciate that. We're looking at some of the highlights here. There's a defensive back named Shaw on the Patriots. You turn him around a couple of times, I think. You don't even I tried know. to. I tried my best to. I, <laughs> you no, tried that, was, to? that was a great run. No, that was a great run. Um, and because for me, you know, like I was saying, you know, about, you know, um, a minute ago, I mean, you're, you're always looking for the next guy. Your, your eyes are always downfield. Um, and in this great game, there's so many great athletes um, that, um, you know, on, on one play, you know, you're going to get the best of them. On the next play, it may be the other way around. Um, so how would you um, be now in the NFL? With your talent, I I don't know. I I think I could I think I could do okay. You know. Um, no, I'm not talking about you. you right now at your age. I'm oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Could you give me a couple of runs right now? Hold on. So let me make sure I understand the question. Yeah. So if I suited up today. Yeah. What could like, you give me? <laughs> <laughs> You're going against Seattle's defense. But which, which offensive line do I have? That's the question. Uh, I mean, what, you give me, are you giving me what, like Dallas? Are you giving me you the Cowboys? You got the Cowboys, Cowboys line? line. You got Demarco Murray's line. I'll take that. Absolutely, what, I'll, I'll take that. What I'll can you that. give me? Maybe I, maybe I can give you. I don't know, seventy-five yards. You, 60, <laughs> 60, 75 yards. <laughs> could could you still juke? If I had all of my guys, all of my Danettes out there, could you still? Can you still juke people? Um, I, I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I, I haven't tried. Um, yeah, I don't want anything believe, to go wrong. You got to believe that, you know, I still have something left. 
in there, right? I mean, and people don't realize how great he was as a basketball player. We we had played a couple of times, and including one once in Denver, and I remember you standing underneath the hoop and dunking. And you're five nine. Yeah, I'm yeah. five nine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you could right. shoot. You could play. You could have played for Oklahoma State's basketball team. I think. You no, yeah, I, I I love playing. I grew up playing and and um often tell people yeah even even um during my career in the nfl on my off day i would go play basketball um just to get a good workout in just because i i miss playing and, and love the game that much um i posterized you, know, so. you though a little bit in denver <laughs> no I, I absolutely you know what i just like you complimented me yeah you had a solid game absolutely oh, wait a minute. Solid, solid solid game solid, solid what game. does that mean no that's a great compliment yeah. solid I put no, an, you lit it up. Okay, I put you, on a, you lit it up. I put on an aerial display that night. That's going a little far. <laughs> That's going a little far, but yeah, you uh, solid, solid showing, solid showing, or or mad game. <laughs> how, how, hey, however you want to put it. Well, I wouldn't describe you as a solid running back. Right, yeah, because because your basketball skills were equal. Yeah, equal to mine. Yeah, right, right. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Who you uh, who are you joining us on behalf of? What's your uh, what's your plug today? Oh yeah, I'm I'm here. Um, <laughs> you are here for somebody, right? Right, right. Yeah, um, just here to to really raise awareness um, for a little known condition called uh, pseudo bull bar, and what that is is it's uh, otherwise known as uh, PBA, and um, basically it's uncontrollable laughing or crying um, when that's not really what you feel, right? And so imagine how difficult that would be just in everyday life on your job when you didn't have control of that emotion, of those emotions. Uh, and so um, that's why I'm here. It happens from um, head injury. It also happens from, uh, from other neurologic conditions like dementia, Alzheimer's, no, uh, things like that, uh, stroke. Does it affect, has and, it affected um, your family? It, it hasn't affected my family, but more, you know, more than, or around two million Americans suffer from it. Um, and the reason why it kind of hits close to home for me is because um, recent survey by Gridiron Greats, which yeah. group headed by great coach, Coach Dicka, um, they did a survey and saw that, you know, 99% of their players have had head injury. Um, a third of them su uh, have suffered um, symptoms similar to PBA, and, and uh, they really aren't connecting the dots that those symptoms are connected with head injury. And so I just re really want to encourage people, go, go see your doctor. Um, go to the, our, our website, visit our website, please. It's so at, uh, tackle tackle okay. TacklePBA.org. It's something that's very treat. It's something that is treatable, um, and um, and so you know, just imagine how difficult that would be again. Um, and so a lot, a lot of people are are dealing with that, and and um, and a lot of times they don't even understand they have it. Um, and so it it can be something that, that's very challenging to deal with. So please um, go visit your doctor or go to that website, tackle TacklePBA.org. It's always great to see you. Always great to see you, Barry. Thanks for Appreciate stopping it, by. Man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, it's my, my pleasure. It's been my pleasure. You want me to uh, go out in the field and show you something? Some something something? <laughs> you got your, your basketball shoes on, or what, I got what, a I got a basketball hoop over there. Are you there. talking about on the on the football field, or you, which one? We can go over the basketball hoop. Your pick. You pick I mean, your where, poison. I mean, whatever you're in the mood for, man. You know, whatever. You're I'm in the like mood for. you. I know you do it all. I'm ready you to walk away from basketball just because I got <laughs> bored with it, just like you walked away from football. Right. Right. Like, yeah. Like you yeah. said, these guys can't tackle me. I'm so much better than everybody else oh, in the end. Oh, you did come not say now. that. I didn't say it. Not, not in those <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> no. We can go shoot hoops here. If you got any I'm games. always, yeah, I'm always up for a game. You are? I'm all, yeah, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Fair yeah. enough. I'll put on a display. And don't cry, though, if you lose, all right? I don't think that's going to be a problem. All right. Fair enough. I don't think that's going to uh, be a problem. The website is tacklepba.org, the great Barry Sanders.